Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Galaxy Shuttle and Target Master Fracas knockoff. This is brought to us by the same people that brought that bootlegged browning figure. Now this is not cheap, this is actually a $70 knockoff, which people may say, well, that's a lot of money to be spending on a knockoff. Yes, it is, but at the same time, if I wanted to get the original uh, in pristine condition these days, it will set me back around $1,000. So that, on the scheme of things, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've always wanted Galaxy Shuttle. I acted as a middleman for one of my friends when he purchased Thunder Dagwon. I was lucky enough to have a play around with that and review it. And since then, I've kind of really wanted an original Galaxy Shuttle. It's always been a little bit out of my price range. So when I saw this floating around on the interweb, I decided to get it. We don't really have much on the box, just a nice solid box, a little bit of schematic on there. Not really sure why we get Fracas with this at all. Uh, does anybody know? <laughs> I don't recall them having any relation at all during the Transformers franchise. Here we have him out of the box. He comes in a nice plastic clamshell. We get a set of stickers and we get the instruction leaflet as well. Oh, I kind of wanted him to have his stickers already applied because I hate applying stickers. These are the stickers. From what I understand, they're pretty much the same as the original toy. So there we go, there's the stickers. Here we have the instruction leaflet. It is not overly complex. <laughs> There's not a great deal involved. Uh, now I'm assuming they've given us Fracas here to go with Artfire or Scourge, whether they're gonna be releasing their versions of him. I'd quite like an art fire actually if they're going to do an original that would be nice and this is where we place the stickers there we go let's get him out of this plastic prison right we have to do a little bit of building out of the packet we have these wings they slot in and there's a small groove on each of the wings and we have his gun stroke tail fin slide this in and then bring this piece up and as we do so, there's these tabs here that's going to locate just over the top of that lip. We just bring these feet down. We've got some wheels here, and we've also got an exceptionally stiff wheel at the front. Let's just take a look at Fracas. I never owned Fracas as a kid. I had Scourge, but I didn't have the Target Master version. If there is anything glaringly different about these figures that you guys recognize, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Give that comment the thumbs up so everybody can see it. A nice face sculpt on there. He's got a very puffy chest, hasn't he? And of course, he does transform there. <laughs> there we go. That's that. That's his transformation. Yeah. Not a great deal involved there. Yeah, quite a loose-ish joint there until it comes back to this location where everything holds together. But yeah, all in all, it's uh, fracas. <laughs> so let's take a look at the Galaxy Shuttle. Uh, he feels like he's made from a fairly solid plastic. It's not overly robust, uh, but it's not going to fall apart anytime soon. The wheel is a little bit wobbly on the base here. Uh, we don't have any distinguishing brand marks that I can see. Small gap on the underside there, a little bit of rough around the edges, and it is slightly off-white. It's not a pearly white. If we just compare it to the instructions, for example, this is a very bright, glaring white. This is slightly off. Uh, we have a nice, deep black here as well. Nice reflective wings. Uh, it, it's nice. It doesn't really feel any different to Thunder Dag one. It kind of feels like it's made of the same type of plastic, same sort of heft to it. Yeah, it's a good bootleg. In the Victory story arc, this guy was one of the largest Autobots to date. I think it's only Metroplex, Fort Max and Grand Max that were actually 
bigger than him. He was absolutely massive, and he was basically a space taxi. That's all he kind of did. Uh, glorified version of Skylinks or Omega Supreme. I need to get myself a countdown. Hopefully they'll do a countdown as well. Maybe an oversized version so I can actually park this on there because he basically sat on countdowns kind of helipad for a majority of the storyline. That's pretty much what he did. Here we have him alongside some modern masterpiece style vehicles. And here we have him alongside Sabre. Uh, this is kind of the scale that he should be be he's designed to scale with the micro masters and uh, saber being like a brain master unit and uh, that's pretty much the scale we are looking at right now let's get him transformed up let's fold his cargo wheels in let's just extend those legs all the way back the front of this cab is going to come untapped and that's going to come all the way down and there's this hook here that's going to slot into this groove. Feet can come down, bend these wings downwards just by untabbing them from this section. That now gives us enough room to separate the legs. Looking at this knee joint, it bends upwards and then collapses down. So bend upwards and collapse down. Our head is just tucked down inside that section with the wings laying horizontally. Untab from the back. And these are going to fold around, then lift the wing back up. And there's a small slot on the inside here, allowing the wings to tab in. Lift up this front section, flip down those fists, and then just close off that arm. And this is Galaxy Shuttle. Yes, my younger viewers, this may be something completely new to you, but this is what Transformers were like in their peak. Please don't ever moan to me about your figures not having any articulation. Now, as lovely as he looks, I'm going to have to put some stickers on him. He just looks incredibly bland without them. And here we have him all minty fresh with his labels applied. Well, most of his labels, I couldn't find anything on the instructions for items 9 and 10. We've got 6, 11, 8, 12, 13, 14, 3, 5, 7, 4, 1, 2. Uh, I, for the life of me, I don't know where these go. Um, there's 9 and 10. If anybody knows, uh, please, please, please just let me know. I've got a feeling that this may go in the inside of the shuttle cockpit, but... I really don't have a clue. But yes, this is the stickers applied. We have them down the sides of the arm and on the weapons. We have some circuitry on the legs and we have them on the shins, toes and knees. We have them on the elbow. We also have this circuitry kind of section going on here. So that is all of the stickers applied. We actually get five additional Autobot insignias, which is always nice these stickers really do feel like vintage stickers as well they stick okay if you don't get the sticker right first time there is a little bit of play in them uh, but they do feel very vintage indeed they've kind of got that waxy texture to them but yes this is <laughs> galaxy shuttle uh, let's just see if we can fit fracas in his other hand as well there there we go. Youngsters prepare to be blown away. The articulation is as follows. The head can kind of look up and down. The arms can go up this much, down this much, and we've got a little bit of play forwards and backwards. The legs uh, can kind of come out sideways at the hip. And we have a bend at the knee. Oh, almost 90 degrees there. And we have up and down on the toe. Amazing, isn't it? That is articulation at its best. Now, just to give you an idea of scale, here he is alongside Sabre. Again, this scale doesn't really work because he's meant to be absolutely massive. He's designed more to scale with your Micro Master figures, but it just gives you an idea of how he looks. Actual height-wise, he stands a little over nine inches, nearly nine and a half, which is about 24 centimeters. And excluding 
fracas. He weighs 248 grams. That's 8.74 ounces. Let me know in the comments section how that fares to the original, if anybody has one. He does have his gun in hand. Right now to quickly change him back into his shuttle mode, it's not the most complexing of transformations. Let's just lift up these arm flaps again, pulling those arms back in, flip the head down, rotate the wings so that they are again horizontal, close off these shuttle bays, going around and around, and there is a tab and a connector there. They are going to push together firmly, bring these wings back up. Pushing from the inside here allows for this to come up without any breakage. We can then bring this all the way up. And again, this is going to just tab in, bend the joint at the knee, straighten off this hip joint. Then as we compress that into the leg, this joint here is going to bend and they just fold inwards. Tabbing in at the center here, there's just enough room for us to bring back his gun and there's a slot here and here. It's not the top holes, it's the bottom holes. The top holes have screws inside. Push and compress these leg pieces in. Like so, and then just fold the feet down and we can bring the landing gear down. Make sure everything is tabbed in properly, including those wings, make sure they're all nice and tight. And there you go, there we have him back in his shuttle mode, just so you can see all of that added detailing. And um, this piece here does lift up, we can just untab, and we should be able to get uh, kind of a minicon or something similar in there as well for storage. So there we have it, the KO version of Galaxy Shuttle. I've included a link in the description, takes you through to the product page over at Sir Toys. He may not have any in at the moment, but if you add it to your want list, he will do his best in searching and hunting these down. Hope you found the video useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe to this new channel, hitting that notification bell, which lets you know every time I upload more awesome content. Until next time from myself and the KO Galaxy Shuttle, thanks for watching. Ah, goodbye.